I have a question here from Facebook on this subject. And Valerie asks, my husband and I have talked seriously about moving to another state for better schools and job opportunities. What would you say to a native New Mexican who feels that she might have to leave her home state to find a quality education for her son and better job opportunities for herself? I'd say you should vote for someone for governor who has a strong commitment to education. Not only a commitment, but a proven commitment to education in New Mexico. I, you know, the lieutenant governor rarely, if ever, that I can remember, has had any role at all in an education. In education, I took a role on because I thought it was so important, and I did something about it. I said, early childhood, the data's there, the science is there, that's what's going to improve children's opportunity. Let's invest at the front end for our kids as opposed to waiting until they're in trouble in high school or middle school or until they drop out or they need remedial learning. Let's invest early in our children. So I would say to her, if, you're, if, if the question is who to vote for for governor, who's, gonna, who's the clear choice for education, I'd say vote for somebody who has a proven record. Not only have I had a record as lieutenant governor, I've served on a board of regents of one of the most excellent institutions in New Mexico, New Mexico Tech in Socorro. I've, I've seen and been a part of knowing what it's like to make a, a university work and work well with a niche. But you, you talked about this being a long process. And early childhood education does help, but it takes a long time. How can you say to Valerie, <clears throat> what are you going to do to make changes and progress now? You know what? Valerie has a responsibility too. She's a parent. New Mexico has a lot of choices about how their kids can be educated. And they also have a responsibility. Uh, uh, we need parental involvement. Uh, all the kids I know that are succeeding at every level have strong parental involvement. I'm not saying Valerie isn't involved, but I'm saying that she should look at she should her, homeschool. Is that what she, you're saying? She should do. She should look at the charter system. She should look at the public system. She should be involved with the interaction between her child and her teacher, um, and she should be a, a public. She should be an advocate for education. Many times I get questions from people who are Facebook friends, but maybe they've never tried to advocate with their local representatives, with uh, with the legislature or anybody else to make the case. We only got early childhood education done because we, we finally developed the energy and the advocacy with the legislature that said to all those folks, let's turn the ship around. Let's set a higher priority. Um, I know that there are a lot of teachers out there working hard every single day. There's a lot of innovative kinds of things happening. Let me tell you about one. Atrisco Heritage Academy in, uh, in Albuquerque. When you go to that school, you get a chance to test your interest and your aptitude. They have a culinary pod. They have a legal pod, a health occupation pod, a financial services pod. Those kids get to explore their interest and their aptitude. But it's not just about the school. For instance, the financial services pod has a partnership with the Education Credit Union, and they operate a credit union on the campus. The culinary pod has a partnership with the Restaurant Association. They have a big kitchen. They teach them not only about how to cook, they teach them how to manage a restaurant. The Legal Services Pod, they have a small courtroom as their classroom and a partnership with Hispanic Bar Association. So I would say to Valerie, you know, look at what your options are. If you're, I don't know if she's from um, she's Albuquerque. Um, look at what your options are. Be an advocate for your own child. Get them the best teacher you can find. Get them the best into the best school. Or look at your charter school options. Or look at if you know if she's a somebody. We've worked hard with homeschoolers to give them not only the opportunity to be part of extracurricular activities, after school sports. Those are the kinds of things we need to do in New Mexico. But we need to give teachers the resources they need in those classrooms. Every parent's had the experience my daughter's having with hers, which is. Every year you're asked to buy more and more supplies. Every year you're asked to do more and more things at the school to raise money. That's not because they're spending more money. It's because we've asked schools to cut, cut, 
cut and to do more and more with less.